title of today's video is uh, Golf Oil Spill. Uh, this is just another attempt by our wonderful government to make us fearful uh, about something that we don't necessarily have all the facts on. First of all, let me read something I, I wrote to July Lestar who said that we should help aid this problem in the uh, Gulf, uh, as if the government didn't know what they were doing. The Gulf of Mexico has 650 quadrillion gallons of water, of which there is now about 100 million gallons of oil sp uh, spilled into it, which represents one part at 6.5 billion, or basically one gallon of oil to every 6.5 billion gallons of water. This area is one five hundredth the size of the Earth's water, making the world ratio one part in 3.25 quadrillion. The world's water supply is 326 quadrillion gallons, or 3,100 cubic uh, miles of water. The fact that the government has dummied uh, has uh, what happened here? The, in fact the, the, the governments of the world have dummied down the pulpit so much that they don't understand the science they have naturally defaulted to a positive consciousness position on this matter and that in itself is a deflection and what this little girl uh, uh, used uh, physicality to establish her feel she is straight fucking out of her mind. Instead of gathering for those for good, she gathers against the, against the good because of her ignorance. Ignorance uh, for her side is suicide. She's in the zone. She's held to a higher ethical requirement. I'm, I'm speaking of July Lestar in regarding this matter. Uh, let me read further as I say here. Uh, the only way those gases and oil will hit the atmosphere other than the methane is HARP is going to zap it in a, uh, at, at, at surface level uh, when the when the oil comes up, so that uh, this same technology could also be used to uh, control the lava built up in Yellowstone. The Illuminati has found out uh, has been found out again, and I and other avatars like myself have put it at bay. Now here's the thing. Now, of course, I found out later on the following day is that uh, there was never was a threat. This never was going to happen. Just because he drilled into it, just because the hole is getting bigger and bigger doesn't mean it's going to blow. And uh, the Russians were very successful, I understand, in doing a, a, a inland uh, exploration where they went down 42,000 uh, feet and they were able to handle the pressure. Uh, the BP purposely went in to uh, create a disaster. They knew that they had they had 100,000 pounds of pressure based on what the Russians had already done. Then there were equipment that only had 1,500 pounds of pressure that they could handle. They went down 5,000 uh, feet of water and then drilled another 25 to 30,000 uh, feet. Went down to, to an area close to the core. There's a special name for the type of oil that comes out of the core. It has nothing to do with uh, fossil fuels, which confirms a study I made some years ago, even though it uh, In order to have oil in that uh, quantity, you'd have to extrapolate it over, you know, say thousands and thousands of years from that. It'd have to be done all at once. So that's bullshit. Uh, but I didn't know about the about the physics having to do with out of, out of the earth or not. Though it somewhat makes sense because of the uh, decomposition of uh, metals uh, uh, in space, like the, you know the moon or I mean the sun has uh, helium and iron or something like that, and, and eventually that will uh, burn out. And uh, who knows, you know, millions of years from now, and become some other type of metal like lead. That's why there's some supposition that people, uh, some scientists, are saying that. Mercury might have well have been uh, a uh, a uh, red uh, I don't know red red shaped uh, sun that uh, fell out of orbit and ended up in our atmosphere ended up in our at our our solar system or not because the interesting about that uh, Mercury is it doesn't uh, rotate or no it does rotate but it rotates in the opposite direction than all the other planets anyway uh, and it doesn't have a, presently doesn't have a molten core. The only ones that seem to have a molten core are uh, Venus, Mars, and uh, uh, Earth. When that. Other ones have uh, uh, molten uh, things like the Sun, but they're one step below because of some, I don't know, some chemical they, they lack. And even the Sun itself is only 200 times bigger than the Earth, not a million times bigger. What you're seeing there is a bunch of flames. The actual the actual structure of the Sun itself is only 200 times bigger. I mean, it's still quite large, but 200 times is a lot less than a million times. And so uh, this, uh, this government of ours is uh, 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 trying to create a fear standard when the, 
Now, whether or not I, I make this video or not, or whether I have control of the airwaves, or I have uh, millions and millions of dollars to say or not, well, my word will, will, my word, and even if I don't even say, never say anything, and even if I was never even aware of this problem, the problem would still be put at bay with that. And uh, I, be, I got this very clear uh, from this last experience on this thing with that. So, uh, so that's it, you know. Uh, the, uh, these, this group, I don't know about other planets and why they got blown up and whatever went on, and I don't know all that stuff, and now there's, there's too, uh, too much stuff to, to discern and figure out when that. And uh, it may have its valid points, but not. And uh, so that's it.